It's looking beautiful right now with all the rain in the garden. Check out some of the edible crops we have here. We have a wonderful pomegranate. We got edible nasturtium as ground cover. Irises and stuff. Those the bulbs are also edible. Then we have um, over here daylilies, which the whole plant is edible. Aloe, you could juice that, you could eat it. We have uh, rye here, or ruda in Spanish, great for cooking. Uh, geranium, also a great herb for cooking. Um, obviously the nopales. This is Opuntia coccinelli ferra. We eat the pads, <laughs> we use the uh, little white stuff that you see, the insects to dye our stuff red. I'm gonna try doing purple soon. Um, let's see what else is up in here. So let me flip around. We have um, Mexican marigold. That one you can use in cooking too. It smells amazing. We have Mexican lime here. We have double delight nectarine. Oh man, the rain's coming. And we have a bunch of veggies that I just uh, planted the seeds in here. We got parsley and cilantro as our weeds. We have um, some oxalis and stuff for weeds as well, which we leave and we eat, give to the animals. Bunch of veggies here, leafy greens that we grow for the geese, the emus, we eat as well. More weedy cilantro. I just cut some of this stuff and the parsley uh, because my mom is cooking. We got the passion fruit for a hedge. Goes all down here, it goes up. And then it forms this uh, edible shade roof for us. That was a pretty cool idea that I got. Then we have a kefir dwarf pear here. This is like gonna grow into like a 10, 12 foot tree. Um, and it gives amazing flowers, smell great. Woo. And then they uh, give amazing fruit, you know. We have a uh, peach tree right there. And it's got a bunch of fruit on it too. Just this little section of the yard. It would take me forever to go through my whole garden. But edible cacti fence line. Agaves that we uh, grow some uh, on the farm. So whenever they're a little bit bigger, I'm going to take them over there. Yeah. Come on, Canelo. Let's go.